for the first time in the history of planet Earth, in the history of consciousness, a world spirituality is utterly possible and utterly necessary. A world spirituality is one that transcends, that ends the trance of any particular religion, of a particular nationality, that weaves together the best medicines of every great system of spirit and knowing into a larger whole, a world spirituality in which we understand that that which unites us is far greater than that which divides us, in which we understand and live the common truths and calls and obligations that are laid out by all the great systems of spirit. And we also experience and benefit from the unique gifts of the different systems of spirit woven together in a larger, gorgeous tapestry, a tapestry that gives us a system to live by and that all peoples of earth can find themselves as citizens of a world spirituality. That is a possibility that exists today in a way that never did before in the history of planet Earth. This vision is an utter necessity today, and this vision of a world spirituality is only possible today and was never possible in any other time in the history of the planet. Why? Because the new life conditions, the world challenges, need a world response. The beginning of that response is a world spirituality. So the evolution of a world spirituality as spirits next move, as the beginning of creating a genuine felt sense of wholeness among all the peoples of the earth, a sense of the interconnectivity of the all with the all, which can only be led by a shift in consciousness to a world spirituality is an utter, utter necessity today. That's number one. Number two, the second reason right? Why this necessity, right? Is a possibility. Why we can actually meet this necessity is because for the first time in the history of the world, there's this huge piece of good news. And the good news is that there are for the first time, hundreds of millions of people who are living at world centric consciousness. Ego centric consciousness means my caring and concern. My love is for me and the people that give me security in the world, my immediate, my family, Right, the people around me, the people I work with. A higher level of consciousness is ethnocentric consciousness. I care not only about my immediate people, I care about my tribe, my nation. An even higher level of consciousness, an evolution of consciousness is world-centric consciousness. Oh my God, my circle of caring and concern expands to include all the peoples of the earth. That's amazing. That momentous leap of consciousness from ethno to world-centric has never happened before in the history of the world at this level in which there's a public culture of hundreds of millions of people who are holding world centric consciousness. And it's that group, which will be the formative group in the creation of a world spirituality. That's the second factor, which makes a world spirituality necessary, utterly necessary and utterly possible today. And finally, number three, for the first time in the history of the planet, the best and greatest teachings of all of the systems of spirit, every great religion, the sciences, physics and psychology, it's all available. Every great religion, its particular medicine is available online, in books in libraries and through living teachers. And you have living teachers and books today, which are being disseminated way beyond the boundary of a particular system. Buddhist teachers don't only teach, Buddhists in Nepal or China, Buddhist teachers teach all over the world. Jewish teachers teach all over the world. Christian teachers teach all over the world, but not in a way of coercive missionizing, but in this beautiful new way of opening up the best medicines of their systems of spirit to all the people of earth. That's a new reality that never existed before in the history of planet earth. All three of these factors come together to yield the necessary evolutionary emergent, a world spirituality, which is spirits next move. It's what we need to evolve into the next generation, to evolve spirit, to create joy, to create sustainability, to create responsibility, to create depth and meaning for the future generations of this world. The most urgent need we have today is to participate in the gathering 
of all of us from all over the world who want to participate in this great evolution, in this great unfolding. It's already happening. Where? All over the world. It's breaking out. Spirit, world spirituality is breaking out every place. When? Right now. It's got to happen right now. Who? All of us. All of us need to participate. All of us who feel that we're beyond the religions or we're dual citizens of the religions in this larger system of spirit. The time is now. Welcome to this great adventure, great necessity, great obligation, and great privilege of our generation.